Welcome to another unboxing. I almost returned this machine because it's certified refurbished and I had some problems. See what I mean? Well, essentially this machine was an HP refurbished model that I was able to get. I found it for a great price refurbished. It was actually on sale. One of my employees had found it at Best Buy for a really good deal. And I was able to get this for less than $1,000, which was pretty amazing with it being certified refurbished. This machine came with some really awesome specs. It had a touchscreen, 16 inch, as well as an i9 processor, along with 16 gigs of RAM, which should be up, able to be upgraded. And it also came with one terabyte solid state hard drive. The other amazing thing with this laptop is the fact that it comes with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060, which is spectacular. That's pretty much what caught my attention on this machine. So for less than a thousand bucks refurbished or around 1100, I think now Amazon has it for about 1300. It's still pretty decent for what you get. The pricing is really nice and I'm assuming that there's going to be more and more of these coming out and being available and I think it's kind of a sweet spot. It's, it's almost a tough call because with it being a home machine for the purposes of it's got Windows 11 home and the fact that it's, uh, you know, essentially like able to do gaming, uh, it's it's a uh, tough debate if this can be used for the office or for work, but I feel like it sure can be. And this machine specifically is going to be going to my wife and she'll be using it obviously in an office setting. And with that, uh, if she had to, she could, you know, be able to have the horsepower and ability to uh, play games or do video editing or do really a bunch of different things that might require a better video card and it would have lots of power for it and I personally you know kind of zooming to the um, end I've personally used it myself well after we had to repair it and uh, fix it because it was refurbished uh, we were able to easily use it for everything we needed to do and my son was able to even play uh, Fortnite on it and it worked out really nicely so this machine is really a work course. Uh, as you can see, it comes with a really nice power adapter, and it is actually a 200 watt, which is pretty large. And the battery is a six cell battery is rated to run 16.75 hours, but I do not necessarily believe that initially that that's what's going to be the uh, runtime. The laptop is essentially 5.16 pounds. It's uh, got that natural silver aluminum on the outside, which you'll see in a second. It's about 0.78 inches high, 14.1 inches wide, and 9.9 .9 inches deep. Pretty nice sli slimmer form factor, but also relatively heavy for it having all that uh, power inside of it in the NVIDIA card. It's going to add to the weight but it's uh, very sharp. It's actually even sharper and more clean cut than some of the uh, Asus gaming machines. Uh, it does not have any type of RGB uh, on the keyboard, but essentially kind of gets that good mix between the ability to, to have the extra power or video editing along with not necessarily any lights that are flashing on the machine or on the uh, keyboard. And like I mentioned earlier, it comes with Windows 11 Home, which can easily be upgraded to Windows 11 Pro if you need to. And you can see here the nice, uh, I guess, uh, airflow in the bottom is available as well as the side. And you can see it's got an odd USB port here on the left side. And it's a little agitating uh, that it has to have a little notch. Usually I see those for Ethernet ports, which this does not have. But you can see here the headphone jack, the SD card slot. And on the other side, you'll see two USB-C ports, an HDMI, a USB, and then the charging port as well right there at the end. For it being refurbished, it had a little bit of, I don't know if it was smudges, but they kind of came out right when we pulled it out and kind of tried to clean it down a little bit. And you can see kind of the profile there is pretty nice, pretty thin, has the uh, NV logo right there on the left side of the back. And we're going to go ahead here and uh, plug it in and power it up. And as we do that, you'll notice the screen is pretty nice. It's like a glass mirror-like type 
surface. Uh, it's not the normal matte finish that you'd see, you know, on a different type of laptop or on some of the Asus, like my G16 does not have that. So it's kind of nice, pretty decent. And the touch screen is uh, very nice. Now, so far, everything seems good. There's no issues with the machine. It seems to be doing its thing. I plug it into power and start going through this initial wizard. And then the fun begins where I start hearing some oddities from the laptop itself. And I'm noticing that there's an odd sound coming out of the machine when it gets to a certain point uh, in usage. And you can hear it here. At this point, I was very agitated <laughs> trying to, you know, create a really good review video and was a little disappointed in taking it off guard that uh, they must have missed this in the refurbishment process. So I went ahead and turned off the machine and it was able to actually, I updated one of the diagnostic tools in Windows, which is pretty cool that it uh, took this huge download and it updated the firmware in the actual laptop. That process updated the UEFI diagnostic tool, which allowed me to run this full test on the machine. And then this diagnostic started and I was able to test the CPU fan and the GPU fan and sure enough, uh, the GPU fan was fine, but the culprit was actually the CPU fan. And you'll notice here, that's what's going on right here. And you'll continue to hear this happen. It was kind of hit or miss. Sometimes when it was at 60%, there would be no noise or 80%, it was much better. But at 60%, it was definitely making a lot of noise and just agitating that. Um, even though it was refurbished out of the box, whatever the refurbishment process by HP was, wasn't good enough to catch this. And, uh, you know, it's just agitating. And then here is the misleading thing. You'll notice all these tests are passing. So the diagnostics tests from the manufacturer are not good enough to detect something like this, like a fan noise. It's thinking everything is good, everything's fine. Um, all tests passed 100%. So there was nothing that it actually found as being the culprit. So that was useless. So if I'm having to ever call HP, they're going to have to you know, see a video or somehow listen to it on the phone that this noise is happening if it comes back because um, like I mentioned I was able to solve it but uh, immediately after this we as you can see here this this is the full test passed I went ahead and reset the machine because I was so agitated I want to get my data off the machine and I thought that I wasn't going to do anything else and just return it but I did decide after I did that to go ahead and try one last time to look at the um, system and I had taken it to my office as well after that to finish up the repair but essentially uh, repairing it here is you know taking out the screws from the bottom of the machine uh, there's a row in the front and a row in the back of the screws I think it's just two and two in the front and three in the back possibly and once you get those out you'll be able to kind of pry the bottom of the case out and that's one of the worst processes uh, on this machine is trying to get the bottom uh, cover of the laptop out and here kind of cut up the video a little bit essentially just finish removing all the screws and then prepare to remove that case uh, which is very hard to do had to remove the laptop from the table a couple times to get my finger in quite right you're supposed to use a spudger to kind of jam the little piece of plastic in the back between the two parts of the case to release the bottom of the laptop but you know if you use that that'll help quite a bit but essentially you're going to try to pry the bottom off of the laptop it's got different clips all the way around sometimes the worry with doing this is that uh, the clips are never going to be the same after uh, at this point uh we did a good job. It was no big deal, but you can definitely damage it and have issues. You can pull too hard, even snap right there, kind of at that part you can see to the right there. And so just be careful if you do do that. I don't recommend you do unless you're familiar with it. But as you can see, the fan on the left is the actual culprit, which was the actual fan for the CPU. 
and the fan on the right is the fan for the graphics card, which is pretty burly. Unfortunately, that whole bottom black piece between the two fans and all the way around, that all has to be removed, which is horrible. And you do uh, get into the uh, situation where by removing that piece of black plastic comes out with a bunch of the thermal grease or heat paste cpu paste that you'd have on the components and in this case when they refurbish this they put tons of the paste everywhere there's a bunch of different spots where they did so they're trying to keep it cool this is the fan actually removed and took a picture of it trying to get a replacement part is really hard but i was able to actually adjust the fan so that it wasn't hitting the actual bottom of the case of the fan and that did the trick. We were so happy with it. I did have my son try it out the next day and the machine was working fine. It sounds great. doesn't have any problems. We are worried though that the fan might have a problem again. So we're more than likely going to try to find a replacement or try to find some solution for, uh, you know, replacing it. And that brings us to a really cool part of this unit. You can notice here on the top right, there's a little button that toggles on and off like lit and not lit. And it actually toggles an awesome cover for the webcam, which was pretty sweet. So I thought that was pretty nice. I haven't really seen that in many different uh, manufacturers. I've seen maybe where there's a slider you can slide back and forth, but this is a mechanical button, I guess, that you can press and it'll uh, electronically close it or open it. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Them. So it's nice to see something uh, different. I felt like this is almost a really good even business feature that's nice to have. And I don't know if, if I recall other HPs having that or not, but that's pretty nice. Uh, we did the pass mark test on it, which is something we've been doing on all the machines. And we see that it's the 90th percentile, which is awesome for 950 bucks or so. We've been using it for maybe a week or so, and it's been pretty awesome and we're pretty happy with it just worried that this issue will come back with the fan so we're hoping and crossing our fingers that it won't happen we may also we did find a SKU that allows us to get a one-year on-site warranty for it we may get that we'll have to see we have probably i think about 90 days with the warranty that came with hp for the unit so we'll have to decide pretty soon Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications and share this with your friends and colleagues. And we hope we helped. Thanks.